Hello, everybody, and welcome to Talking to Goats with your host, Marble Guy, the show where we dive into the lives of the best players ever in Geometry Dash. Before we begin, let me remind you how the episodes are structured. We start by introducing our guest, then we hit them with a silly question from the Wheel of Silly Questions. We hit them with the GD-related section of questions, then we hit them with some life-related questions, and we wrap things up with another silly question wheel and the outro. Today's uh, guest, they are from North Carolina, which is in America. Their hardest is Kinos. Uh, they are top six currently in the world, and they were top three at one point. And uh, their best achievements in the game being Kinos, Crimson Planet, Renovant, Sorry, Never Clear, 36 to 100 on the Golden, 46 to 100 on Tartarus, 56 to 100 on Zodiac. And well, that's enough for sure. Uh, they are 16 years old. Their name is ViewSonic. Welcome to the show, ViewSonic. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Oh, I'm very excited to have you on. Thank you for agreeing to be on uh, episode three of Talking to Goats. But let me remind everybody, please comment below stuff about what you want to see in the future, like questions you want me to ask people in the future, um, people you want to see on the show, things you like about ViewSonic, because there's many possible things to like about ViewSonic. And also, like, if you relate with anything that uh, is said in the episode, like anything that ViewSonic brings up, you should to chat with him in the comments about that so let's start things uh let's start things off with a silly question how about that okay all right guys we're at the wheel view sonic are you ready for this yes oh my god here we go let's spin that wheel 25 possible questions i wonder which one it's gonna land on number I really hope it's one i can answer 23 Ooh. i wonder what 23 is gonna be 23 is, what would be, in your opinion, the absolute worst name you could give your child? Oh, okay. So I just had a conversation about this, like, not too long ago. Oh I was talking God, about how, honest. like, I was talking about how, like, I don't think there's, like, dumb names, but, like, I think it depends on whether you're a good person or not. I don't know. I think all names can be nice, but, like, you could just, like, name your child a straight up, like, cuss word or a slur. Which is, that would, like, be pretty bad, too. <laughs> that would, yeah, that would be, that would be tough for him to live down over time, right? For sure. Yeah. GD-related questions. All right. Okay. When I first heard about you, you Sonic, it was about a year ago. People were talking about GD and good players in GD and people that are better than me and stuff. <laughs> no, and then <laughs> um, uh, someone mentioned View Sonic, And the first thing I thought was, like, that's like that sounds like a tech company. Uh, I, I, how did that name come about? So that's my first question. How did you come up with the name ViewSonic? I got it from my dad. Used to work like I, he had like some tech job. I don't know what it was, but he'd always call people um, and stuff and like sell technology to people. And um, the company, like I don't know, I guess they like at the job they gave him like monitors um, that he could just use, and they were all like ViewSonic monitors. And wow. like he gave me one so that I could use one for when I was playing with um like on 60. That's what I was playing on. This was like two years ago or three. No, it was definitely like three years ago. And this is when I was like experimenting with a bunch of names. There's like so many I can't even name. I don't want to name them because they're like so ugly. But uh, I was just like, I know I was never comfortable with any of them. But then one day, like I just like looked at my monitor and I looked down and I saw it and I was like, yeah. That's that's what it's going <laughs> and I to be changed now. It. Yeah, and then, then I changed it, and that was it. <laughs> so so that's almost equivalent to if I sat back in my chair, and I was like, "Oh wow, there's a lamp over there." All right, I'm gonna be GD lamp now. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> All right, um, GD lamp. Someone should be GD lamp. Some just if you're hearing this and you're trying to come up with a GD name, please be GD lamp and then like message me or yeah. something. I think that'd be hilarious. So why did you start playing GD and how long have you been playing GD for? I don't want to say that I started like in 2013 because that's when the game was released. Yeah. But I know that I was eight when I started the game. So then it's like it had to be in 2013. I mean that's like th that was like the year, right? Because I remember starting when I was eight. And and, and I'm pretty sure I, I'm sure that's reasonable because like that's eight years all ago, the because you're 16 all the now. updates wow yeah all the updates like happened like in that time like in 1.1 and 1.2 they all like they weren't they didn't take as long as they do now so yeah and I just, I remember very vividly like playing like electrodynamics <laughs> when I had just bought like. Cause I started on like the light version, and then when course, I got yeah. the um, when I got when I bought the actual 
full version, I um the first thing I played was Electrodynamics, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Oh, really? Oh my god, that level. That level uh, personally when I was first getting started, that level was so hard. When it was the three time when it's the three time speed part for the ship and and it goes that like that always stressed me out so much when I was just getting going. Yeah, it did to me too. You've been playing for so long. I just find that um really cool. And you've been, have you been playing like straight for those um eight like seven eight years like you've been playing break consistently or did you take any time off yeah i took time off definitely i didn't play like just straight for that long i don't think i would be able to survive <laughs> oh my god yeah breaks from gd are as important as uh, time spent in gd yep. right. next question uh so uh do you have any uh i guess we call them pre-game ritualers oh, ritualers rituals before you play meaning like do you do like special stuff every time before you sit down and you attack an extreme demon or you just kind of like it's random every time um but yeah it's just kind of random every time i don't actually i don't really do anything before playing yeah i found that i found that to be the case uh, which i find interesting because you like i i don't know when i first imagine like all like like i guess talking to all the best players i always imagine them like all having like something that they do every time like oh i always i always uh, sit in silence for five minutes I uh, get it silence because like silence is, means like impossible okay that's stupid <laughs> or like they like always warm up with buff this or something like that um i don't know why i don't know why buff this that's i, I do that right now but uh, don't warm up with that level it's terrible i warm up like a li like sometimes like i i used to warm up with cognition but okay. yeah i don't really warm up anymore now imagine imagine being good enough to warm up with cognition i mean come on guys Really? Warm up with Cognition. This is why you're the greatest of all time. Dude, Cognition, if I warmed up with Cognition, I would maybe be able to get about 2-3%, okay? The only goats are going to be able to say something like that. I warm up with Cognition. How important do you think the mental game is in GD? I think I think it's important because, I mean, you need to, like, have motivation to, like, actually play the game, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know... If you don't have any energy, then you're not going to be able to beat anything. For sure, for sure. What do you think is the most unique thing about you as a GD player compared to, I guess, all other GD players? When I, my quote unquote career was like first starting out, I was like first victor of a bunch of things. And I thought that was like pretty cool at the time. But um, as time went by, I thought it was super like, like I didn't want to do it anymore because people, people were like getting annoyed and stuff. That like, so that, like no one else could be first victor. <laughs> Not, I, I guess not that, but they were like, some people were like annoyed because I like, quote unquote wasn't giving people like a chance. But I like, I technically like was, I mean. You're just better. I don't You're know. Just better. <laughs> I, no, I mean, I would race people a lot of the time. Uh, okay. And I would, I'd race with people who were like the same skill as me. I, I'd say that I got really lucky a lot of the times. But yeah, I think that's, I think that was pretty cool at the time. Dude, I think that is pretty cool. And so what were some of the levels back in the day that you were uh, first victor of? Um, my first first victor was Stock Therapy. Okay. Um, and then and then I did BTD3. And that was like, that's like what oh, set that my level, thing. Oh, that level was a chore, man. Yeah, that's what set my career off, basically. That like, got me a bunch of subscribers and stuff. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because I, well, I, guess, I guess that level was more popular back then, but... Um, I don't remember that level being, I guess that level was more, I, I don't know. Cause I, I, I kind of left the community for a couple years, um, between my 60 Hertz and 240 Hertz days. So I think I probably missed when two, when BTD3 was popular. Actually, that's an interesting question just came to me. Um, so during the pandemic, did you play GD a lot more just because, you know, there was less ability to kind of go places or, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was like, it was what kept me going <laughs> during the pandemic. Oh my God. It was like the only thing that I was, I was going to, like, I was doing at the time. It was hard. It's hard to really find anything else more productive to do, you know? I mean, yep. um, it was a really tough time. And then we, and she's kind of being locked inside. Um, and it's like a lot of bad guys that just beat extreme demons. What do you think is the most epic and legendary demon in Geometry Dash? And why do you think that? Epic and legendary. <laughs> I say that because I, because I want to like. I think I don't personally love playing Sonic Wave. I think the level's good, but I don't love playing it. But I think that's the most epic and legendary demon in the game, just because uh, when you have the music and the visuals, and it's an older level, and it all it just, just it, it is a level to look at. If you were watching a video, if I was like, when I was like a player who wasn't even able to beat Try Out. When I saw Sonic Wave, I was like, damn, that's so cool. So, like, when I mean epic and legendary, I mean just that level that, like, sums up GD. And, like, it's just, it's got it all going for it. It may not be the most right. fun to play, okay. but it's just so cool to look at. I think, I mean, in my opinion, I think Spectrum Cyclone 
is the best level just ever but people a lot of people don't like it but i think it's really great and i had a lot uh, i had a fun time with it um but objectively i'm not sure if we're talking about like epic and legendary probably i mean probably sonic wave uh that level's like it has so much history maybe or maybe bloodbath but yeah, yeah bloodbath you know classic for that. we could we could battle over that all day yeah i would throw yada in the mix there too if you're throwing them out yeah. there i just feel like like i mean i some of the new levels are really cool let's not get that wrong i mean like it's voucher vortex is amazing all right and like even like go the golden uh, i don't like the golden so it's hard uh, i, I like the golden either um crimson planets not <laughs> i like crimson planet but like when i think legend when i think gd when i think what is what is gd at its core i think like yeah you know what i'm saying um, yeah i feel you yeah yeah but um, no, that's good. Answer. Yeah, I think bloodbath is that might seem like a, a like an obvious answer, but I think it's I think it's a good answer. It's a powerful level. When like I even mean, yeah, people, it had a great impact on the community. Even pe- like you know how like um it's like here's a good analogy like people who play who don't play Mario Brothers right Super Mario Brothers they are they all know what the original World One One level looks like. I mean, even if you haven't even played the game, you kind of know what that level is. That's that's like the GD equivalent. People who don't even play GD or not or not really into gd that much they know what stereo madness is they know what bloodbath is you know what i'm saying like that the, everyone knows bloodbath so um, yeah there's a decent chance that they know what bloodbath is they definitely know what stereo madness is oh man yeah so what uh rob top level was your favorite if you had a favorite when you were not that good at the game and working through those levels they are everything too for sure thank you so cool. yes give give view sonic a special marble guy seal of approval talking to you james um, I love Toto. Thank you for saying that. Um, why do you love Toto? I think it's the best looking one, mm-hmm. especially for that update. That update was really good. Blast processing probably comes behind that level. Yeah. But yeah. And it's also, I like the song a lot too. Oh my God. I love the, um, the piano part at like seven. Yeah. Actually, I don't even know. I don't even know if I whistled that right, but um, that part is so good uh, at seventy. I don't know. That's but that's, that's like my favorite Rob Top for sure. So I'm I'm so happy that you agree. You like think the same way. <laughs> Another favorite question: What is your favorite Nine Circles level? If if you have one. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I hate Nine Circles. Oh my god, that is <laughs> remove that seal of approval. Do you know? Um, do you, sound, like, do you so... know? Do you know that um I'm one of the I'm one of the people in the community working to beat every circles. <laughs> have fun with that. Yeah. Yeah, so you're saying you're saying I hate circles to the wrong guy. <laughs> I mean, if I had to pick a favorite, um, probably Arctic Lights. Like I'm gonna get so much hate for that, but Arctic Lights is a good. I I agree with that. I think Arctic Lights is a good circle. So I don't. Cause I got lucky with that level, and like Sonic Wave is like my least favorite level ever. And Generic Wave is even worse, even worse yeah, than that. Generic Wave sucks. And Basha and Belangu were just like so boring. So yeah. Do you at least agree that Tenth Circle is just garbage? And so I haven't played Tenth Circle, but I hear that it's like really bad. I don't oh, know. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's it's like it's bottom five circles for me. I hate that level. Oh jeez. So um. Alrighty. All right. So how many times have you considered quitting GD throughout your career? And your career has been quite a long one. So, um, have you ever considered just quitting? Mm, no, but I have. Cause I like the game, but I have like, there's been times where I'll play a different game for an extended amount of time and I'll, I'll like think about it and I'll be like, shit, I make money like this. Like, I, I, like this is like my only form of income right now. Like Geometry Dash. And um, I do really like the game and I like my friends and I like everything. And I don't, I don't want to like give it up, you know? Cause it is a good game. So I've thought about like, what if I did quit that would like, I've thought about all the like possible outcomes, all the advantages and all the disadvantages of quitting. Because I'm sure there's lots of good things that have come out of it. Like, you know, probably, probably better mentally because Twitter, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Twi- the tw- GD Twitter community is so difficult to sail through, we'll say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's lots of nice people there. And I try to make it like a nicer place by just being on there and like, you know, bestie vibes only. But it's very hard to keep my cool a lot of the time. But yeah, Twitter is stupid. No, I agree. I agree. I um, I, I actually do have a Twitter for GD. I think it's called GD Marvel. But uh, yeah, I did just plug my Twitter during the interview. Yes, I did. People who are watching, shut up. I can do that. Can I plug mine then? Yes, please do. So I feel less yeah. guilty. Follow view. Wait, I don't even remember. View Sonic with a K underscore seven. Go follow me. Yeah, throw that. Throw that. Throw like... <laughs> <laughs> Do, throw that up on the screen in big letters and then yeah. throw, throw mine in half James. the size letter. Yes, James, do that. <laughs>
This is too much. Also, subscribe to View Sonic. Definitely not Marvel Guy, just View Sonic. Yeah, subscribe to Marvel Guy too. Oh, thank you. How kind. I did not make him say. I did not tell him to say that. Next question here. Let's just move on. Right. I. Hey, the Twitter though. Where is it? I. Where am I pointing? Wait. Let me. Let me look at my OBS. View Sonic's Twitter is gonna be here. No. He. There, and a little bit up. Yeah, like right there. It's gonna be right there. My Twitter. Is gonna be up there. Subscribe. Actually, just leave him there for the rest. Leave him, leave him there for the rest of the episode. Just leave him there, please, for the rest of the episode. I, I cannot like do the backwards camera thing. I don't know how the hell that's all gonna get edited down. <laughs> Next question: Who was your idol in GD? If you had an idol before you became you, okay, you are the idol now. You are top six in the game, so it's it's like people look up to you. People sit in their beds at night, and I'm like. I want to be View Sonic so bad, um, and so I mean, I mean, there's probably at least one kid doing that because you're so good at GD. But when you were not that Thank good, you. Yet, um, who did you look up to? I really looked up to Diamond Splash. <laughs> oh, Diamond Splash. I've, I, is he still playing? Because I haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah, they're playing. We talk sometimes. But yeah, I really love them. They're so cool. And they're really good at GD. I always looked up to them when they were like playing Zaf Keel. I remember I loved that video for some reason. Oh my God. But yeah. yeah. And, look, and look at that. Are you, are you, I think you're above them on the list now, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's weird. Yeah, I, because I, I aspire to be like that, but I guess I, you know, fulfilled that dream now diamond so, slash has to look up to you you are the goat <laughs> <laughs> i mean they beat zodiac i'm not quite there yet oh that's true that's true um, i do i want to beat zodiac but zodiac is pretty bad in my opinion so so you're okay you're a top six player you've beaten top tens okay you've beaten kinos you've beaten crazy levels if you like go play a level like let's say i don't know blade of justice right that's like that's like that's like right at the bottom of the extended list like they might have fallen off already is that a like is do you find just like that level easy like when you've played that you're like wow this is easy there's like an easy demon i mean it not like an easy demon but like it'll probably be like easy because I'm only playing like top 10s right now and like top 20s and shit. Like I haven't played like anything else in a while. I probably have here and there. I don't freaking remember though, but yeah. And plus I'm like verifying curious right now, which is like supposedly top 10. So everything I'm playing is silent demon right now. So when I go <laughs> and play extended list, they're probably like super easy feeling, but yeah. Interesting. I just, I just find that so cool that like you get to the point where you can look back at like, cause, cause you know, like, like, I guess to put it in my perspective, like right now I'm playing something like, like I'm playing Niflheim right now and I don't find that level too hard, but it's hard. It's hard enough that it's oh, making me take a few days and like a week or two to beat. And then there's going to be some day if I continue to play for a long time, I'm gonna look back and that level is gonna be like like a freaking insane demon to me that's just crazy to imagine is that gonna be your hardest hardest a non-dominant hand niflheim was my hardest demon three years ago oh, for a while wow. oh my god three years ago <laughs> yep well, did you like the level i like the level nar not at all <laughs> no you don't like the level the song's so good though yeah but it's bad <laughs> okay fair enough there you have it. That's the profound op opinion on Niflheim. Um, Please don't go watch that video for anyone who's watching this. Don't watch that video. It's so bad. Right, so I hate it so much. Put a um, put that video up on the screen for us. Please. Oh my god! Now this is something I like. All right, what are we going for here? We're going for like some maximum cringe. I'm good with that. All right, let's uh, let's get the ending. I think he uh, I think he makes some noise during that. <gasps> oh my god! Holy crap! I can- oh. No. 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 Oh my god, I'm lagging so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put a link in the description for that Dude, particular okay. video. That's how you're gonna find Jibu Sonic's channel. I'm just gonna put a link to the video. And Dude, we're I... gonna put an i card in the top right yep, for the Niflheim video, Jibu I... Sonic's Niflheim video. So uh, you guys can all check that out because he did request that you watch it. <laughs> High quality interviewing. No, I did not. I, I don't unlist.
my Extreme Demon videos, because I'm pretty sure the list doesn't like when people do that, but I hated it so much that I literally renamed the video from, like, Niflheim to just the letter P. Like, I didn't even care. Oh, well, now you're making this easy. I know what to look for now. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, if you if you go to my channel, go to Oldest, you'll find it. It just oh says god. the letter P right That's there. That's great. That's great. Oh my god. We will, we will be advertising that video more than this video. Oh my god. Okay. Um... <laughs> One of my personal favorite questions of the GD-related section coming up here, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, let's get some excite excited music. James, excitement music. James. Here. Okay, so if you had one hour left to play GD, meaning that's it. You get this one hour. Starting now, an hour later, it's over. And then you can never play GD again ever in your life. What level would you play for that hour? Probably the golden. Really? Just the golden? To see, just to see if I could pump it out, you know? Just like try really hard for that hour. Now I find that interesting that for that hour, your la your last gasp at GD would be trying to beat a level you haven't beaten yet, as opposed to playing like Spectrum Cyclones on one of your favorite levels. So I, th I think that's a really uh, cool answer. Or I might like, I might play like a Michigan level, you know? Yeah, tribute for sure. Rip Michigan, yeah. by the way, yeah. Yeah. In this hypothetical, would I just like be disregarded from the community just at all? Like, will it just be removed from my memory? You would no. You would like. You wouldn't be like. Let's say there's some kid at the airport sitting down playing like bass after dry out, and um, someone make that please bass after dry out please. Bass after dry to see. out. Yeah. Imagine a fusion level of bass after bass and dry out. So imagine, okay, so he's playing bass after dry out, right? And there's, he's just like, he, he's just, there's a single spike. He's just not getting over it. You could, you wouldn't even be able to walk over and help him get over that, do one click to get him over that single spike. You would just That'd be so to sad. And be sad and watch him Dude, be sad. Like that happens like during when, when the pandemic was like not a thing and I was in school like that. I would like feel like literally like pain, like physical pain like watching people during lunch like play the game and like just not get past like that one jump <laughs> or like that one triple spike i'd be like come on oh, like man. <laughs> think about the people who just fail at stereo madness like in the first 25 percent, just over and over again for hundreds of attempts and then think I about like like having to do like an extreme demon where you have to you get to the point where you do the first 10 percent every single time and how much harder that first 10 percent is than the first 25 of stereo madness Man, it, it's crazy. I've always thought about, like, now that I'm good and know how to play the game, like, I want to go back to, like, knowing how it feels, like, to be, like, inexperienced with it, you know? Yeah. It would, yeah that I'll, would never, be, I'll never know again. That would be a... Yeah, that's true. You never can re-simulate not being able to beat Stereo Madness. Yeah, I'll never know how it feels. Isn't that weird? That's yeah, a weird it's so thing weird. to think about. I've always thought about it. Man. If you had... If someone said to you... Um, you were way off the script of questions, by the way. That's okay. Um, what's going on, by the way, James? How's how you doing? Are you doing good there? <laughs> um, what's going on, everybody who's watching the video? You got y'all doing good? If you were offered the opportunity to get a restart, meaning like right, like right now, like if someone came into your room, which would be weird, but if they did, and they, um, the only thing they asked you was, okay, right now you can have one chance in your lifetime to just get shot in the brain so that you all your gd skills are reduced back to nothing and you have to start from the beginning again um and it, it you you'll still be the same player meaning like like you're not gonna like gain skill w less quickly as this new view sonic that was just shot in the head but um you would like start from like never like pretty much never playing the game before would you what would you do would you say yes to that I don't think I would, but like, I would like to know how it feels. Yeah, but eh, I don't think I would. And like, if if that if that's possible for this guy to like shoot me and then remove all my memory of the game, then can they just remove all my memory of any like all the other things that I want to forget? Like, there's so <laughs> many things that I'd rather forget than geometry. <laughs> oh, I agree like, with that. Like my entire existence on Twitter. Like, oh, yeah. I just don't want to be in that platform anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, you know, yeah, you know? Twitter's, uh, I, I totally get that, Twitter's, avoid it, avoid it, guys, that is, oh, that, um, one of the yeah. coming questions is, what is your, what is your, uh, do you have any words of wisdom, any life advice for people, uh, <laughs> I figured that might be part of it, uh, avoid Twitter, um, yes, Twitter is just, like, 
It has a sense of anonymity. Anonymity. Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. I don't know. I don't know. Anonymity. Uh, anonymity? yeah, I'm not sure. Anonymity. Anon Anonymousness. Anon you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like uh, oh, it's like that scene from Nemo, uh, which I it's copyrighted, but I'd love to show it. <laughs> I should ask James to like show it, but like apply so many color filters or something that I can't. I can't <laughs> or like <laughs> pitch the audio. <laughs> Um, oh, no, many. Uh, all right, enough. Okay, back back to script here. Don't use Twitter, is what we're saying. What are your future GD goals, if you have any? Um, beat the top ten and uh, hit twenty thousand subscribers, and and get on the GD. What's that thing that Viper does every year? That GD awards thing. GD awards ceremony. Oh my god, yeah. I want to get on there for like best player or something, or like best content creator, best streamer. You know, we'll see. That would be so cool. Oh my god, that that is that is a dream. I would I would uh, I would love to see you up there. You should get it for best player if you keep grinding. Those are big goals. Those are like th those are th yeah. Those are a challenge for sure. But um, I wish yeah. you the best on that. Thank um, you. To wrap up GD related questions, what are your thoughts on mobile players? We all want to know. It's crazy. Like mobile, like it used to be like everyone on mobile were like looked down upon, I feel like, because nobody was good at it. But there are mobile players who are like better than right. lots of computer players right now. And it's kind of scary. One thing that does go into play is probably like the development of technology, like there are 120 the iPads hertz phones right now. You know and what I'm all that shit. There's like probably 120 hertz iPads out there. I'm pretty yeah. sure the iPad Pro is 120 hertz and that probably is really easy to play on. But yeah, it's crazy. Mobile players are crazy, bro. Okay, I know a lot of people in the GD community who are uh, who hate mobile players or like no one cares about mobile players. I respect them if they're actually good and they don't per like, like I hate mobile players that are like 60 hertz mobile players and then they do like 8% run on Wazaretta and then they post that on their YouTube like amazing progress 60 hertz mobile 8% Wazaretta oh my god you know but um if a mobile player like beats like Sunset Sandstorm which I think is the hardest mobile demon right now then I'm like whoa mm -hmm. that's that's worth respect right do you wanna do you wanna switch back to mobile? You wanna you wanna keep with those words and uh, start playing on no, your phone? No <laughs> no I'm good <laughs>